Hello everyone, this is INFP Gamer, and for our next LP we're going to be playing the Game Boy RPG The Sword of Hope, which I believe was released in the United States in June of 1991, and in March of 93 in Sweden. Uh, when it was released perhaps in Japan, I'm not sure, I didn't find any date on that. Uh, this was made by the Kemko, the makers of Shadowgate and Uninvited, and shares a similar interface, but it also mixes RPG elements as opposed to more the, the adventure elements of the other games in this, that they've made that we mentioned. and I really enjoy this game a lot. I used to play it uh, pretty much at least once a year, but it's been quite a while since I've played it last, so since I've been itching to play it, I decided, hey, why not LP it as well? Plus, I looked on YouTube and didn't find uh, very many clips of this game. So I figured, well, I might as well do it, try to do it some justice as best as I can. I do usually try to show pics of the manual and maybe some of the box scans, but unfortunately I didn't find all that much about the manual. I googled but couldn't find anything. Lucky for us though, the game starts off with a story. So why don't we take a look at that. Here's the legend of one chosen by destiny who must destroy a looming darkness, returning the light of a kingdom. A brave king ruled the peaceful country of Rikar. And one day he became overwhelmed by an evil dragon. Uh oh. The dragon had been trapped by a sword of thrust into the heart of his likeness. A painting of the dragon, pretty much. But the beast whispered into the king's ears wisdom and power, which brought forth the evil and greed in his heart. Not ever, never a good sign. The king became possessed and removed the sword from the painting. Releasing the dragon. Oh boy. And people started freaking out and everything went to hell in a handbasket. The dragon summoned an evil wizard and turned all the people into trees. But there was a ray of hope. Prince Theo, the son of the king, was born. The possessed and crazy king grew angry at the prince because he had a birthmark shaped like a dagger, and apparently that's his fault. The king raged and was about to kill the prince. But a knight named Pascal, who had a side job as a programmer, risked his very life and rescued Prince Theo, and ran away from the castle and the crazy king into the forest. Well, I guess running away was a good idea. Three powerful magicians of the land put the king and his castle underground. Not a bad plan. Good strategy. One of the magicians had retrieved the Sword of Hope. That would be the sword that was in the painting. Yep. And then they secured themselves behind locked gates. Time has passed, the tide is turning, and now we have a very important mission. We play as Theo, who has now grown up. So let's get into that. Alright, moving on with the game. We're in the old man's room. Maybe that's Pascal. Theo, you're big enough to live by yourself. I hope so. You've kept something from me. Mmm, secrets. I'm paying attention. We know that. We know that too. Only one of royal blood can save the king. I had a feeling you were gonna say that. Oh, alrighty. Kinda of boring around here anyway. Let's go somewhere for some adventure. One of the three magicians from the introduction has the sort of hope. Well, which one? They locked the gates of their lone lands. We know that as well. They tried to send me the keys to the gates by Pigeon. By Pigeon. They were intercepted by helpers of darkness, so that you may fail. The travel may be hard, but go find and... The Sword of Hope. Alright, I'll try. Visit the shaman using teleport magic. This crystal ball tells truth. And we can rest. Alright, I'm ready. We get copper armor and a probite sword. What's probite? White wheat, herb, and a magic book. And some basic supplies. Now you may travel. Let's take a look at the interface here first. 
We've got our level up above his head there, our experience level, how much HP and MP we have, starting off with 20 at level 1, our gold and our experience off to the uh, right there. And we have our user interface here, we move around with the control pad, much like uh, Shadowgate and Uninvited and some of the other games that Kempo made. We can look around here and talk to people with the look command, we can open things like doors and other treasure chests and things like that. We can hit stuff, which will sometimes help us out. Here we have our item list that we can use. Here we have our magic. Some of it is field magic, some of it is battle magic. You learn new magic as you gain levels. Right now we only know teleport spell, which can, you can use pretty much anywhere, and it costs no MP, so that's really nice. It's free. Very useful, very good time saver. And here we have power, which is kind of like a status screen. It shows us our sword and our armor. Dexterity is your attack power, stamina for defense, agility for evasion, HP and MP, our maximum amount, the one above is your current, and how much experience we need to go to the next level. Uh, when you buy stuff in the game, you automatically get it replaced. You don't have to worry about buying and selling. You don't have to worry about selling things in this game. Once you buy something, it automatically replaces what you have, and, you know, that's it. The maximum gold in this game, by the way, is 255, is how much you can carry. And, uh, there's an item, so that's kind of like Zelda 1, and there's an item that costs 250 gold, kind of like the blue ring, also from Zelda 1, so kind of an interesting similarity that I noticed there. And here we are outside. Oh, just now somebody called out our name. Who's there? Prince Theo, listen to our story. I don't see anybody. Could the trees be talking? Ah, oh, yes, the people were turned into trees. That's right. Well, let's see if we can talk to the tree. The tree whispers, Prince Theo. Yes, we know that. We don't know how much time has passed. Help us return to our real likenesses as soon as possible. I'll try. That's what I'm here to do. We will do all we can to help you. Well, if you want me to turn you into tr back into humans again, I'd expect some help. If you want to know something, listen and we'll tell you. Okay, here we got the shaman house that the old man mentioned. Shaman's wrapped up in a black mantle. You're inside an eerie, dimly lit room. Spooky. The whole room has a terrible stench. Time to get out that Febreze. Let's look at the shaman. Let's talk to him. I'm almighty, I will pay you for your return to power. Will you pay me five gold? Oh, come on, I'm trying to save the world here. You want me to pay you? Yes, people in RPGs still want money, of course. No, we don't need to. I think as you gain levels, it becomes more expensive. But we have full health and magic right now, so it doesn't really matter. If you look at his crystal ball, he says, I'll give you a message. And basically, that's your password. Unfortunately, no battery save with this game. Crystal Ball says you have a good future. I hope so, whatever that means. But don't let your guard down, go carefully. Alright, we are uh, almost out of time here. Let's see if we... Uh... Let's head back to the old man for a second here. Let's go talk to him, see if we have any more advice for us. Oh, Prince Theo, only you can save the world from darkness. So you said. Find the Sword of Hope with all your power. I don't have power, I have a copper armor and a sword. You look forward to my obtaining it. I'm glad you're eager. Oh, we're in a stone mill place here, something seems strange. Nah, it's just a plain old wall. Just a typical millstone, nothing special. Alright. Well, it's time for us to head outside and start exploring. But we're almost out of time in this clip, so I'll see you in the next. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.